Alright YouTube, welcome to part 6. Now in this part we're going to be talking about content page resources and resource dictionaries. Now they pretty much just go hand in hand and they're pretty simple. We've already worked with them manipulating the text and background with the labels and buttons. So we're just going to work with the labels today. We're of course going to be working in the XAML file. Now right below the content page we're going to be creating a content page dot resources and inside of that we're going to make a resource dictionary all right now inside of here we're going to be creating different styles and then setting the properties of the styles and values of them so for instance we're going to be creating a style with a key name which is this is how we're going to access it and we're just going to call this a colorful label and our target type is going to be a label alright so this is our style now we're going to create different setters and the properties so say for instance the property of this the text color will copy pretty much our first button text color and is going to be purple so we're going to set the value to purple and then we're going to create another setter with a property not progress bar the background color with the value of gray. Okay. Now down here inside of this we're actually going to delete this out and we're going to make a static resource or style equals embraces static resource. Now we're going to use the name inside of our key, so colorful label and end the brace. Okay. So go ahead, run this, and it should turn out exactly how we have the label before. Okay, I ran into an error because my static resource is named colorful label instead of color label. Colorful label. And there we go. Gray background, purple text, exactly how we had it before. Now this is just a simple way to reuse the same properties in different settings. So we'll just create another setter property. I'll just keep undoing what I just did. setter property equals we'll go font size and we'll go 25 how the, the second label is now even though we didn't change anything in our first label this is going to apply to it and we can apply this to all of our labels if we really wanted to without having to change very much There we go. Now it has the font size of 25. And we can also do this in our buttons as well. So we're just going to create another content page dot resource. Resources. And then a resource dictionary. Go ahead and create another style with the Xamarin key of we'll do our wacky button and the target type is button actually we don't want to end that there we go 
Now create another setter for it, and we're just going to pretty much copy exactly what we have down in our wacky button. So rotation, and the value is 20. Border width, and that value is 20 as well. Go down here and remove that and make it into a style. Braces, static, resource, wacky button, and brace. Go ahead and run it. There we go. Wacky button is exactly the same. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.